Professor Paul, pause in the process of the uh, Gandhi statue being proposed. So this statue will hail this subjugator. Uh, I didn't know about many of the controversial things that Gandhi had done until very recently. Gandhi, Gandhi in world knows is different Gandhi in real life. These larger than life historical figures are often mischaracterized by history in the narrative. What do you want to be proud of Gandhi? They did nothing for the country. He was also a bigot. And he also uh, uh, was a predator on members of his own family, young women. He also institutionalized caste. He helped create an institutionalized apartheid in South Africa. Read the Gandhi in his own words, Gandhi's own writings. And Gandhi was a racist by living in South Africa. We have Gandhi wrote in 1903, we believe also that the white race in South Africa should be predominating race. Quote that I want to quote Gandhi on here is that uh, Kafirs are, quote, Kafirs are uh, as a rule uncivilized, the conf uh, convicts even more so. They are troublesome, very dirty, and live almost like animals. That's no way to describe a human being. To me, that's not peaceful. So Gandhi believed in Aryan, Aryan Brotherhood. This involved white and Indians higher upper than Africans on civilized scale. And also, uh, Gandhi served as a sergeant major in the British wars against black Africans. To me, that's not very peaceful. Again, these are historical facts. When we will know Gandhi's comments on that blacks are savages, they are kafirs, and they don't uh, uh, deserve the same treatment as others. So then I think we will be put to shame. Thus, Gandhi was sleeping naked with his nieces. He was a sex maniac, as already said, and did sex experiments with his own relatives several decades younger than him. His, I don't like his, uh, Gandhi statues. It's his history is very bad. And again, to quote Gandhi, uh, to, to abolish the caste system to, is to demolish Hinduism. The issue of casteism, of racial equality, um, sexual predatory behavior, um, those are things that we deal with today in Davis and across California. So this is not ancient history. So this kind of ideology Gandhi promotes do we want the sexist, bigot, racist statue in the city of Davis? No. I don't think it's fair to people that are still uh, fighting against the caste system and uh, are of lower caste. You allow generations of residents to come to that park and again be reminded that this statue of the subjugator remains today long after his death. The Nobel Prize Peace Committee released all the documents why Gandhi was rejected five times after being nominated for peace. So their conclusion was that Gandhi stands for his caste, his race, his religion. He stands for a Hindu nation. So he is not to represent the universal human values, universal which peace stands for, universal peace. Gandhi family's biggest Killer, humanity killer, sick killer. They killed thousands, thousand people in 1984. That was the biggest genocide happened in Asia. So, how are they a peace lover? By associating nonviolence and peace with a wall monger, racist, sexist, we all we will eventually destroy the peace movement credibility. If I was proposing a statue about my hero, I would make sure that it, we, at the very least we made those accusations go away. And the reason they haven't gone away is that they're true. So I think his uh, statue in the public square would be a direct contradiction of American values. Gandhi is not art. It represents closing eyes to racism, violence, hatred, closing your eyes to truth. All are speaking about Gandhi's non-violence, equality, respect for women. Truthfulness, unfortunately, these are all things Gandhi's own writings himself and his actions have proved to be contrary. It is all nothing but lies and propaganda. They want to promote Gandhism, the hidden agenda. 
I would say the council also made an innocent mistake, just didn't realize that he had this history. I would say that the vast majority of people in this country don't know about this history. His other face is not known outside India. We should ask a question ourselves, or you, when you guys are going to prove it, why is Gandhi? Why not someone else? We have a lot of heroes in this country. This statue came in, anybody ask? Who's buying? Who's spending the money? Why? Why that money can million dollar or half million whatsoever is, can be spent on these poor people? Today's news in India in Kanpur, 13 years old kid, doctors did not accept him in the hospital. He passed away in his father's hands. You know, the day they're going to put the statue, there's going to be two to three thousand people going to be right there, the protesting. Before you bring thousands of people that will come and protest, before you bring vandalism, before you bring a repugnant person that will, uh, that's known for oppression, you should at least consider these facts. He was neither a peaceful person nor believed in equality. He was a racist who believed and participated in every war. He was a sexist and he was practiced casteism. Uh, so much so he was crooked that during a day he used his nieces as crutches to walk uh, his frail body. But at night he slept naked with them. He raped them. That is the international headlines of every major newspaper you can Google. So I am very, very much against to locate the statue of the Gandhi in the Davis city. So I don't like Gandhi's statues. So, I duly oppose Gandhi's statue. My need is that I want uh, Davis to remain a special place, a place that respects social justice, a place where I can bring my children to uh, Central Park and not have a repugnant image um, hovering over us. Please, City Council, give us a chance to know the real Gandhi. As a community, we should acknowledge our members that feel that they would be harmed by the placement of the statue. There is obvious controversy. Now, the job of the city council is... It's too crucial as the modern symbol of India to simply have such controversy around, controversy around it. What one person finds uh, attractive and beautiful, another finds hideous and uh, a monstrosity. I mean, we have dignitaries who want to come and visit this ambassador via Shuk to spend almost an hour with me on the phone to share his frustrations um, that himself personally and, and the government and the uh, um, foreign ministry being very, uh, very concerned about why we would be wanting to give back the statue. Gandhi is history's greatest teacher of humanity's most important lesson, that peace is its own reward. So, so if uh, we are just uh, talking myth of Gandhi, I think then discussion ends here.